In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run your Next.js 13 application inside a Docker container. So the first thing you should do is to go on docker.com and if you don't got Docker installed, you can click here on download for Mac or Windows if you got a Windows or Linux. And then after that, we will have a uh, um, software that will help us to manage the containers that will actually host all the application that we want. Basically, here we've got our Docker instance inside our Docker desktop, and we've got all our container that are running or not, and we can see that we can start the container, we can stop them, we can delete them, etc., etc. Right now, for instance, me, I got two containers. So on these two containers, I got two applications that are supposed to run. One here is called with Guillaume. It's actually the instance of my own website that I run locally when I want to make some tests or stuff like this. And I got an API that is stopped. So you can have front-end application and back-end application. Right now, my application is running on localhost 3000 through my uh, terminal on VS Code. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually stop my uh, uh, my Node.js server running, and I'm going to create all the files to make them run into Docker. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Docker file. Okay, so I'm going to type touch Docker file. So I'm going to first give a Node.js version because of course we will need to have a Node.js instance inside our container, otherwise Next.js will never run. Okay, so I'm going to type Node, and here I'm going to use the version 18 uh, minus Alpine. All right, then what I need to do is to say in what uh, directory inside the container I will make run my application. You don't want it to be a mess, so I'm going to put it in slash app to start. Then what I want to do, I want to copy paste actually my package.json. Here, this is the file that helps me to grab all the, um, the package of node that I need to use. And I want to uh, copy them actually at the root of my application, so point and slash. All right, then I want to run, okay, npm install, because I want to install on the Node.js um, that I got. Then I want to copy paste, actually, this package inside here. So once the package uh, .json has, be, has installed everything in here, I want to copy paste, actually, the package. And then I want to type run npm run build because this is where I'm going to build my Next.js application. Once it's done, where I run it, actually, I want to copy here my next folder. So remember, the next folder, this is the folder where you build your next application. So I'm going to type here, I want to copy it inside at the root of my Next.js application. Once it's done, I want to make my application to run, and I'm going just to type, of course, npm and here it's separated because we don't have spaces npm run dev so i'm going to open my terminal and i'm going to type docker build minus t and here i need to give a name to this application so it's going to be nextjs 13 course and i want to make it run from where directly from where i am right now okay so when i'm going to type this Okay, it's going to build the container with all the specification that I put up here. I need to create another file, which is a Docker Compose file. Actually, it's a YAML file with more configuration about what I want to run. So I'm going to type touch docker compose dot YAML. Okay, let's write this Docker Compose YAML. First, we need to give a version. Here, it's going to be the 3.5, it's the latest one. Then we need to specify the services and the services for what application, the app that we are creating. I want to say that when I build, I want to give a context. And the context, of course, is the local folder. So we can put a point for the local folder. Then I got to specify the Docker file, and the Docker file is going to be Docker file with a capitalized D. All right, then I want to give a container name, and on this container name, I want to put actually Next.js 13 course. Okay, once it's done, I want to give the ports, because remember, a container is closed, and we got to give access to this container if we want to be able from localhost to retrieve the container. So here I'm going to say from 3000, I want to access 3000. Okay, then I'm going to go here and I, get, I got to talk about volumes. The volumes, this is where I'm going to find my app. So the first thing is that my app is on the folder app. 
But actually, I want to say, hey, locally here, the destination with two points, and I'm going to zoom a little bit maybe for the need of this course, the destination is going to be slash app. All right. Then what I want to say, I want to say on slash app slash node modules. All right. I'm going to find my modules. Now we are ready to build our container and make it run. This command is going to be docker compose up minus minus build. This is the flag to build the uh, Docker uh, container. So I'm going to type enter and here we see that we got the process running. Let's build, let's come back to Docker desktop and we see that we have our application running Next.js 13, Next.js 13 course, okay? And here we see here that we got 3000, 3000. This is the port of the container and the port of uh, the access actually we want from our localhost. So if I go here and I update, I can see that I got my application running. So I'm going to get back and I'm going to go to my page here. Hello world from Docker container. I'm going to save and if I come back, we see that we've got all the updates. There's a lot of reasons why you would use Docker. There are reasons of environment, security, or because you want to isolate your application from uh, your global OS, your local OS. Using Docker, it's very useful, especially in companies where you want to set up quickly the application. So me personally, I'm always developing my app through Docker, but you got to be safe because at a certain point, containers are taking a lot of space. So if you want to make run your application through Next.js with Docker, it's totally possible by creating this Docker file and this Docker compose. The last tip that I'm going to give you is that you're not obliged to always type uh, docker compose up flag build okay you can use once it's done docker compose up here but instead of writing always docker compose up you can create a make file and with this make file we can make shortcuts so if i type up in here for instance i can just use my docker compose that i got in here all right i got docker compose up and instead of always typing uh, docker compose up I can type makeup like this and it's going to type for me docker compose up. You can use this for everything. It's not related to docker, but I wanted to give you this tip.